All right, I am with three-time Mr. Olympia, Harold King Kong Kelly, and he is going to show me how he trains. I want to see some bits of how he trains and how he gets ready because he looks phenomenal. My goodness. Getting ready for the show. You are definitely a beast, man. I mean, those so, freaking um, muscles are crazy. The dip bar, we love doing the dip bar. Um, in regards to getting to it, um, a lot of guys, you know, being in the wheelchair, you really want to do the dips. Sometimes it's a little hard to get where you need to get, but after you know trying to a little a little bit with someone helping you maybe, when someone help you makes it a whole lot easier. On this bar right here and getting onto this bar right here with the wheel casters, most time I thought learning how to just go inside this box right here. Now you get a little closer and then you scoot up. I will lean into it, my both of my arms into it real easy. Lift this side up, then lift this side up. Now that looked easy, I know. But when you're doing it, it's, you gotta get used to doing it and, and know your rhythm. I do this a lot, I've been doing this for years, so my rhythm and getting up here. So if I've gotten, and now you're gonna look at your chair, your chair may move on you. Well, you gotta figure out how to get that thing back like you want to, or get somebody to put it back, but it's, it's okay, I can make it work. Let me show you how to make it work. So get your first 10, 20, 30, 50, whatever reps you wanna do when you're doing your dips and just doing your dips all the way down and all the way up. That's where I do mine. Sometimes I lean on this side, get this yeah, one in, wow. a more. Then I get some, put some more weight on this one right over here. Now, getting down. Back down, put your arm, arm forearm, and then guide yourself down into your chair. Makes it a lot easy. And again, yes, a lot more muscle will help you do that, but you'll gain the muscle. But that's the dip bar. And again, one plate, two plates. I've gone up to six plates, um, but Take your time and working your way up to that because you don't get there overnight. Just continue doing the dips. Dips is a good fundamental exercise to help build the triceps. When I train heavy, with this right here, if I'm training right here, my first set would be somewhere in the 30, 40, 50 for my first set. Second set, 30 maybe. Third set, 20. So I start high rep on any exercise I'm doing. So when I go heavy, if you see the video, if I'm benching four or 500, I've already done a set of 20 with one plate, a set of 20, 225, a set of 15 with 315, and then a set of 12 maybe with a 375. <laughs> then you see me, you know, video the heavy set, but I, I always train high volume, high rep, and then heavyweight, low rep. I, I combine both of them together all the time. Wow. That's my that's my workout regimen. I'm taking notes, Harold. Yeah, taking that's... notes, man. Because <laughs> you look impressive. Oh, all yeah. right, well, let's move on to the next exercise. All right, it's about so this machine right here is very versatile to me, and, and a lot of guys in the wheelchair they can notice that they'll do a lot of this right here with the cable machine because you can cover a lot of ground with this: from double bicep curls, lat pulls, rows, tricep, biceps. You can do a lot of a lot of damage on this machine right here. Okay. The one I want to show you, what I'm really doing right now, and I really focus on wide lats and going heavy with wide lats. So this is one of my one of my normal exercises that I do um, at the gym. Here, when I when I start with a set of 20, set of 20, set of 15, set of 12, set of 10, all the way down to possibly a six. Um, constantly changing weight, end up doing the whole stack, but that's not really what it's really about, the whole stack, but you want to stress the muscle, sure. and me stressing the muscle. Now on this one, the reason I did choose this to show you how you have your assistant, because I always put a belt around my waist, and they'll hold me down in the chair. So, you tell me what <laughs> I need to do, and I will do it. So, I'm gonna bypass the, you know, the 20-20-20 the, the deal. We're gonna go, this is not really heavy, I just want to illustrate the hold down. So, as my assistant right here, she's going to hand me this one right here. Mm -hmm. Holy smokes, Harold, that's heavy for me. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is light. This okay. is pretty the much same good right stuff. here? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Once you set yourself up and you notice something is not right, don't hesitate to stop and get yourself right. Don't just go through it and knowing that it wasn't right. So, I want a little more spread on that. So, I want to put this one all the way out, put this one all the way out. And then now, I want to click this one time. That's going to spread it out just a little bit more. And believing in a wide lat, 
because judges love the wide laps. Yes. So, okay. you see the, dis the difference now when I just made that change uh -huh. from here, chest up, and coming back into wow. it right here. And this is one of my deal. Now, you will see me tilt forward and roll back. This is for the Christmas tree in the lower part. And I'm leaning forward, put my head forward, and then when I come back with my upper lat and my lower lat where the tree is gonna engage in, that's what I'm squeezing right there. My assistant knows to put their hand in my lower back so I can feel that squeeze a little even better. Yeah, you feel that, so I know that. I wanna arch. Yeah, right there, boom. And where it need to be, exactly. Right. Okay, so that's, that's, what, that's what the lighter weight right there in regards to it being half the deal. So. When we go down to do the whole stack. Oh my gosh. I have one belt that I actually put on to give me my firmness around my, around my lower back. And then I use a bigger belt to hold me or stabilize me either on the bench or in the chair or wherever I need to be. Now are you putting this around the chair? Mm-hmm, put it around the chair. Okay. So you pretty much going to sit down into it the belt, after you hand me the weight, you're gonna get in the back and you're gonna hold the belt down like this right here. Okay. And that's okay. what's gonna hold me down. Okay. I got this. I know you do. Oh. That's my girl. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you're gonna hold the belt down. Oh, I hold see me down now. Into yes. it. Now, that's a good stretch like that, like I just told you before. And then you pull down into it, do the exact same thing. Focus on that squeeze. Holy smokes, man. You are a beast. Look at that. And breathing. But hey, you gotta squeeze it out good. But if you're gonna squeeze it out, have some weight. Right. Have some weight on it. Don't be squeezing with 225. Don't be yelling with 225. That was a good set, man. <laughs> you make it look so easy. Even in that one exercise, I may even start wide every set. Move it. Every set, move it. Move it. So different angles on the exact same exercise, different angles that I'm hitting. Small difference, but different. And you're shocking that muscle each time. Every time, yeah. every time. Just good. Nice. So that's on this machine right here. But this machine, again, it's an excellent machine for multiple use, especially double biceps for your peak. Even in posing, I like to warm up a lot more for posing, because it hurts. Uh -uh. Yeah, when you do a double bicep pose and you squeeze that muscle with that blood going in there and it's not warmed up really good, it, it really hurts. So doing a lot of exercises, stretching, then going into posing. That's what I always do. So right now we're going to do a little bicep curls. I always start real lightweight. I use a five, I use a 10, I use a 15, I do a 20. And I may go all the way up to the 80s. So I may do a dumbbell curl, dumbbell curl. I drop the dumbbell curl, go into my knee, concentrate the same curl. Get a, get a, uh, a dumbbell, we do a tricep. Then we do lean over and do a kickback. So we may do a quad set. That's one. That's one round, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And we do that all the way down to maybe down to six. Well, you don't have a weak arm game. That's <laughs> sure, yeah. So I'm not going to solve the five and the 10 and the 15. We're going to, we did a little something already. So we're going to roll here with the 20s, OK? And when I'm, when I'm over at the dumbbell and being in the wheelchair, uh, some wheelchairs we lock, we don't unlock. Um, and I like to stabilize myself. So. Um, if you may, could you grab me just two plates of tens, two tens? I like to stabilize myself real good, um, and I will put these two behind my wheelchair. So I'll lock myself in pretty much up front where the dumbbells are at, and then we'll kick these two behind my wheelchair so that. Put it behind? Mm hmm. All the way behind, so it, there it is. So my wheelchair won't budge. Just that slight movement. It, it takes away from the squeeze. I call it chucking. Guys be chucking weight. And this is chucking weight. <laughs> that's, and that's you, not just, you just took the tension off. When you did this number, you just took the tension off of it. Instead of leaning back into it and squeezing the muscle where it's supposed to go. Different variations when you're doing the hammers, the different, a different part of the bicep that you want to work on, the arm. Sometimes I stop and just do concentration on five at a time. It's about variation. Therefore, more variation, more well-rounded than muscles want to be. Now, after your set of 20, I'll back off, and I'll leave the plates down there and roll back crossing because 
I'm going right back to it anyway. Leaning into it, and then right into your 20. So you're just keeping it going. Constantly. Keeping it going. It's high intensity. It's almost like a cardio type workout. As soon as you finish, take a sip of water, back to the next step. There. Then again, back into my plates. Lean back. 20, rolling down, back up again, elbow up, 20. You are not playing around, my friend. That's 20 reps, I literally do the 20 reps, but when you're hitting 20, you really exhaust it. And it really changed the muscle. Um, it makes it grow, um, it gives you definition. Um, it got the heart rate high, your body burn calories, and build the muscle. So, you're attacking best of both, both worlds when you do it that way. How long do you uh, rest in between your sets, or you just go? Well, I'll do it between the, the, the super set up back to back. After one round, enough to get some water in, get your weights again, get it again. Okay. So it may be two, three minutes until you get that guy want to come talk to you for a second between your sets. Oh boy. Do you like <laughs> people, do you like people interrupt you though? Or do you? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me at all. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to use this in my next arm game. Oh yeah. Actually, after we're done here, I'm going to go train arms. I'm using the same tactic. <laughs> oh, good. And I'm going to be smoking you the next time I see you. Oh, wow. Well, I got oh, my game then. I got to do something uh, different. <laughs> you look good, man. But thank, thank you so you. much for everything. It's thank been a you. pleasure. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming. Me. Oh, yeah. All right. Always. All right, guys. See you later.